Alright guys, so got my Corolla back and it's as good as good now. They had to replace the transmission and the clutch and CarMax ended up having it for almost four weeks. And so yeah, so there's that. Just got a new sticker put on it. Just because I could. By the way, I am going to record this entire thing on my brand new iPhone 7 that I just got. So, if you notice the quality difference, that's why it's <laughs> honestly going to record in better quality than uh, my camera. So. so, for today, the agenda is working on the Miata. And basically, we're going to get ready for a uh, local car fest. As you can see, uh, there's the screen in the daytime. Couldn't really get a whole lot of video of that before because the battery started dying on my phone. Or not my phone, my uh, camera. So I didn't really get a whole lot of video covering doing that. Um, but working on getting you more stuff now today. I'm going to be polishing out the fender because you can see right here where it's faded from dripping something on it. And then I'm going to have to retint these. Because uh, the yellow is just roached on it. Um, work on getting the interior all cleaned out because it's embarrassing as it is to show you. This shit's filthy. I mean, look at how, look how nasty that is. It's disgusting. That is just absolutely all just disgusting. So, get it all cleaned out, get it all vacuumed, get the door jams cleaned as good as I can. Uh, try to do some repair on the plastic dip right there and then be trying to polish the wheels out a little bit more try to get those nice and shiny um, yeah I mean just little things here and there um, just so that way it is kind of show ready since I'm in the VIP section at local car fest it would just be nice to kind of have it looking good so, yeah. Alright. Some carbon fiber wrap because I can basically put. So. This is cheap stuff, cheap stuff from uh, Wish, so it's not the greatest of uh, quality wraps, so that's why I'm not prepping anything or, you know, doing any of that fancy shit, basically.
end result, not perfect, but hey. Alright, so I didn't film it because it's kind of hard to do, but I uh, just retinted the blinkers. So I'm going to get those reinstalled in the car. All I do is just nice tinted over the old stuff. I mean, you're not supposed to do that. Go ahead and bash me for it, but I don't care. It got done, it doesn't look horrible, so whatever. Alright, so I got the the bumper quick releases set up on one side. Now I'm going to show you guys how I got it set up. Alright, so basically I just like to find a good spot that basically fits this without hanging over the edge of the fender and kind of just go ham at it. And go slow because it will want to creep. See, I, I just fucked up my fender. <laughs> As if I'm not already fucking up by drilling into it. Oh, there was no scratch. It's alright. It's already scratched up. Then for the bumper, try to just get it in almost the exact same kind of location as you got in the fender. So that way it's matching and then they line up also. Can you see fine? Yeah. Your yeah. camera's great. No more walking through. No. Oh, fuck. Oh. I need the camera for a minute. <laughs> Alright, now that I got the bolt back. <laughs> Alright, so basically you just get these on there. You put... The bolt there. Put it through. And the back side, the fender or the bumper, the big washer. And then you get your nylock nut here. So it doesn't come loose and whatnot. And just jam that on the back side, get it threaded in as much as you can by hand. Get the wrench on it and tighten it up. Couldn't turn off. 